Anti-Semitism is clearly spiraling out of control all around the world, including, and I could say especially in the United States of America. I'm going to say something now which might sound controversial but is very true. One of the reasons for the spiraling anti-Semitism in America is Jews. Allow me to explain, don't cut off the video now and take me out of context. There are Jews out there, many high profile Jews that are stand, not only standing by while anti-Semitism is flourishing, but they're actually, in a sense, egging it on and enabling it. In a sense, they are beards, if you know what I mean, for the anti-Semites. They are, when anti-Semites use the cliched response in response to allegations of anti-Semitism, some of my best friends are Jewish. They are the best friends that they are speaking of. Now, I'm talking about high-profile Jews, including comedian and Hollywood actor Seth Rogen. Recently, Seth Rogen went after Scottish journalist, Scottish Jewish Zionist journalist, E. Barlow, with a fart emoji, you know, some of his juvenile humour which might seem innocent enough. Why did he go after her? It was in response to an article that she wrote about online anti-Semitism, the bullying that she had received. He could have just shut his trap, but no, he felt the need to go after her. Countless anti-Semites went after her as well. Now I know this because I wrote an article about it on my website and they came after me. And they, I'm talking about real anti-Semites. I was subject, and Eve, of course, was subject, to horrific abuse. I even had these anti-Semites go after me and mock my late wife who died of cancer. What makes it worse is that Seth Rogen knows about this because he was tagged in these tweets, but he didn't say anything. And I know he checks his tweets. He didn't say a thing while this was going on. But it's worse than that. He's actually minimalized anti-Semitism. In a correspondence which I also posted about with Michael Dixon, the executive director of Stand With Us, he minimalized anti-Semitism, he mocked it, he used anti-Semitism as a verb and then he deleted that tweet, perhaps realizing it kind of crossed the line. So Seth Rogen and people like him, Jewish people like him, are enabling anti-Semitism to thrive. Now, there are people out there that would call Seth Rogen a capo. Capos being the Jewish people during the Holocaust that actually colluded with the Nazis. But, you see, I would never call him a capo. You see, capos, as disgusting and vile as their actions were, it was a desperate situation, and they were basically putting their own lives against those, of the, those fellow Jews. Sometimes desperate times result in desperate measures, as wrong as they might be. But Seth Rogen isn't like that. Seth Rogen's of the world are living the cushy life. He's a successful Hollywood actor, director, writer, living the Hollywood life, cushy life. He's got it good, actually. In a sense, and ironically, it's, it is the Seth Rogans of the world who provide fodder to the anti-Semites, play into the anti-Semitic trope that all Jews are successful, run Hollywood, etc., etc. So you think maybe Seth Rogan would have a bit more responsibility, take more responsibility, and actually fight anti-Semitism, but no. He's providing this cover for the anti-Semites and allowing them to flourish. So my reason for this video is actually, I want to direct this to Seth and I'm going to tweet this at you. And you know, I know you're prone to accuse people who you think are less popular than you and, who, and we are less popular than you of just taking you on, you know, for the likes and for the buzz and for the clout on social media. This isn't the case. And I'm not here to rip you or just to rip you. I'm here to shake you into your, to action and actually uplift you and get you to realize your purpose, which is pro what I think is probably your purpose on this world. You see, for some reason, God has deemed you worthy of having a social media following and an audience of tens of millions of people. You have so much influence. Yet, you're doing the wrong thing with it. You're doing the exact wrong thing with it. So I'm imploring you, Seth, to change your ways and realize to use your social media and your audience for the greater good. And that is to stand up for your people. You might be far away and feel far away from Judaism and Israel, but you can't escape it. During the Holocaust, the most assimilated Jews were still led to the death camps and led to their death. So 
it isn't too late to change. I'm imploring you, be part of the solution and not be part of the problem.